Trypta has already got two thumbs up. Can they close it out tonight with another W? Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. Two teams looking stark for a win. And we are set to go. The Ducks kick things off by winning the opening faceoff. And here we go. From the point, they take control of it. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Moves it quickly over to Johns. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and toss up the puck. Here's a short pass to Johns. And it comes up with the save. Oh, the home team is reeling here inside the defensive zone, and the fans are nervous. Quick pass to Michael. Here's the round. Dishes it off. Turns that aside. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will give his team a much needed rest. Pedersen's body language says it all. He is frustrated. And anytime you're on a team, you want to contribute, especially when you know what you can do. You're a confident player, but all of a sudden, the stick gets a little bit tighter. Habits are a great thing. Numbers are another. Oh, wow, what an incredible save! I don't even know how he got to that. That's fierce athleticism to be able to get back to the net and make that save, James. That was amazing! Oh! Scores! Puts it in with the proof stick for the goal! I love this kind of goal, James. I mean, you're heavy on the forecheck, you're hounding the pucks, and you're not allowing your opponent to get anywhere. They're back on their heroes. You continue to wear them down. They cannot get a line change, and you make sure that you convert on the opportunity. That's just a great goal. The Ducks were looking for a good start in this one, and they have certainly accomplished that with the first goal of the game just minutes in. Well, you know they would have talked about making sure that they established some presence and some pace in the game, in particular in the opening frame, James. But to get up a 1-0 lead on your opponent just minutes into the game, that is a fantastic start. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Let's have a look at that last save again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. The Ducks have dominated in the shot department here early in this first period, and the score is reflective of that. Richards wins it in the offensive zone. Oh, what a save on the play! Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. And Sarah, listen to these fans here. They are getting loud. Some of them are getting on their feet here still. James, I think it's the appreciation for the desperation save, the compete, the will to keep that puck out of the net, and they're really showing him the love. Tries to feed it over to Craze. He's an all-star! Rips it off the puck, but he did it! Wow! That was a double take there, James. Can you hear that sound? Sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. Oh, we heard the ping there, James, and he gets lucky with that one-timer as it finds its way to the back of the net. and dictate the pace. Here's a chance on the attack. Oh, beautiful save on the play. And you gotta love these one-on-one -on -one battles. In particular, the goaltender so aggressive, tracks the puck and makes the save. He's been strong on the puck tonight, but he's still looking for his first. Shot, fantastic save. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. 
closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's all tied up. Crosby's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Slides it across. And now he moves it quickly to champion. And loses possession after a solid hit. Jari's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Looks like lineups are set and they're ready to get things back underway. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Cut grab by Pedersen. And they're gonna go out for a line change after sending the puck in. Powers taking it from his own end. From the left side, they enter the attacking zone. Teed up and the stick collapses. Well, in good position there for that one-timer. And as he bears down with that bottom end, boom, it explodes. Quick pass to Power. Shot. Oh, what a glove save there. He read that perfectly. as a face-off set to resume. The Ducks will start off on the attack after winning the draw. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. And there's a little boost from off the wing as the centers were tied up there. And that goes off, pours off a body. Taken by Rust. He carries the puck up along the wing. Moves it to the middle. Picked off in front. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Slides the puck to Silverberg. And now he tries to get it across to Tippett. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. And that's deflected. The goalie's best friend comes up big again as it goes off the outside of the frame. And the chance to go ahead and a huge opportunity right there. It's going to go off of the pipe and out. Picked off by Dali. Michael's got it into offensive territory. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. And he slides it quickly to Niskanen. Hammers a shot. That's off a stick. Anaheim's got it in the neutral zone. Moves it to Michael. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. In the final moments of this period, we got a tie game. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Denies him! I love the shiftiness to his game. He reads the pace of 
play and he can manipulate his own speed. It's not always 100 miles an hour, but he gets the job done. And this time, he gets the shot off, but the goaltender just makes a nice save. Pittsburgh's got possession at center. Quick feed to Beauvillier. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Anaheim's taking possession in their own end. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Sends it in on the attack. And the puck's knocked loose. Slides it diagonally to Faber. Great defensive effort breaking up the pass. Here they come on the attack. Passes it over. And that counts off one of his teammates in front. Here's Eddie Hames on just as time runs out. There's the horn ending the first period. Both teams will have a chance to regroup. You do you, and we'll be back with period number two in a moment. What do you make of this one? Jari's been the most valuable player in this game, James. I mean, he's been so busy. They're lucky that this game is still tied. Moves it quickly over to Champion. Receives the pass. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. And Ross got the puck. Dishes it off. Quick stop by Jari. Enroth's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles, so he's off balance, and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. Puck battle along the boards. Big play inside the defensive zone. Oh, what a hit on the boards! We got a penalty coming up here. Slides the puck over. Oh, trying to pick his corner and puts it off the outside of the post. And they score! because he can't see the puck. I mean, they work on tracking exercises all the time, but you can't see it when you got bodies in front of you. So this is a smart shot that makes its way to the back of the net. Pittsburgh's push here in the second is paying off as they now bleed by one. Well, you can certainly see the energy shift in the bench and the coaching staff talking to the team about continuing to push, keep the pedal to the metal here. While you have your opponent down, you got to attack. And he slides it quickly to Silverberg. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Here's a short pass to Richards. Jari's going to elect to just hang on for a whistle. Well, he hasn't been busy, James, and I like that he landed on this one. He's physically engaged in keeping himself in it. Anaheim's had the scoring opportunities. They just haven't been able to capitalize as they continue to trail. Hayes has it in their own end. Moves it to Bunting. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. They've got some momentum here. Puck picked up by Tippett. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Lots of time left in this period. The Penguins are looking to build on this one goal lead. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Still keeps a hold of the puck. Dismissed that chance. Moves it over to Beauvillier. Looking to make something happen along the boards. With the bank pass. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. They gain the zone from the left side. Rocks him on the play. Battle along the wall. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. That's how you get north in a hurry. Fantastic stretch pass. Back to the blue line. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Still a lot of 
of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Penguins lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Pittsburgh's got the win off that draw. And he takes the dish. The Penguins carry it along the wall. Pittsburgh's got the puck. What a save. I mean, how quick do you have to be to be able to get on that puck, James? Anytime it's in the low slot, you've got to be on your toes, and that's exactly what he was to be able to make the save. The Ducks trail here in period number two, but it hasn't been for a lack of effort. All sorts of scoring chances. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Brinks got it across the line. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Jostled off the puck. Sends it ahead to Glass. The Penguins take it along the wall. There's a shot! This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Some last-second communication with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. his own face off and he wins the draw. Here's a shot! And we got a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. Pittsburgh's got control of it now from the road end. Freeze up the puck. Jari's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Past the halfway mark of this period, Pittsburgh's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Quick pass to Raquel. And that's taken by the defense. Keeps possession. Jari's opted to hang on to the puck for a face-off. The Ducks have been the busier team offensively with plenty of scoring chances, just no finish, and they trail here in period two. And he feeds it down to Latang. Pittsburgh's got it in their own zone. Sends it over to Latang. Along the half wall with the puck. Sends the pass over. There's the save on the play. A shot. Oh, off his mask. The officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Won the draw there on the attack. Works it across to Malkin. Now a quick pass to Grizzly. Carson's got it against the boards. And it's a quick pass to Russ. Huge hit against the glass. I love the physicality in this game, but now there's going to be a stoppage in play, James, as that glass is broken. After winning the defensive zone faceoff. And the puck's blown it away. Hammers a shot. And he gets it from an act. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. What a steal in his own end. They go on the attack through center. And now he moves it quickly to Niskanen. Handles the puck. And he slides it quickly to Niskanen. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Moves it to Crosby. And offside, we'll get a reset here. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Penguins are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Hayes wins it. Takes the feed. Quick shot! And he had the answer on that one. 
knocked away in the offensive zone by Hayes. Quick feed to Graves. Oh, quick save. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. The Ducks need to start finding a way to finish on some of these chances here late in the second. Pittsburgh's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, monstrous hit in the corner there. Moves it quickly over to Power. Slides the puck across to Brink. And that's poked away. The Penguins take it along the wall. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. Oh, and a great hit. tonight, James, and he's been dialed in and made the necessary saves, but his team's been excellent in front of him, generating some offense and a reason why they have a lead. And now it's grabbed by Latang. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. The Ducks gain possession in their own end. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. I don't think anybody was hanging on to the puck after that hit. And he loses control here. The Ducks have had no shortage of opportunities tonight, but at some point, they need to start finishing here late in period number two. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. here for the start of the third. Here we go, put up a shot up for both teams here in this third period, we are underway. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? The Ducks coaches are gonna be telling them, listen, you gotta just trust the process, stick with the game plan. I mean, through 40 minutes of play, you've dominated possession, continue to do what you've been doing, but don't get frustrated, don't panic and force the play, it'll come to you. there and it's kicked away and that battle along the wall comes to an end the penguins have it behind the cage on the attack they come down the right wing feeds the puck across to johns the ducks take it across the blue line fires it on net stoppage in play as the puck goes up and over we'll get a face off we're still in the early stages of this period Pittsburgh's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. The Ducks take possession here inside the offensive zone. And that carries off a body in the lane. Pass to Raquel. It's 
Shepard's moving it into the offensive end. Huge steal in his own end. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Taken along the wall by Johns. Puts it on net. Stones up with the blocker. Feeds it over. On the one-timer. Denies him again. He does a great job being set to position here. Otherwise, he's not going to be able to make that second save, James. But it's pure athleticism that gets the job done. Gets the puck over to Richards. And he slides it quickly to tip it. Big time save by Chari. Well, a great A scoring chance taken away from the inner slot because he's so aggressive and gets to the top of his crease. Anaheim's trailing early in this third period despite leading in the shot department. Now they got to finish. The Ducks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Jari's got it, and he's going to hang on as we get a whistle. Well, he's been dialed in right from puck drop, and he has been under seas, James. Nice job to hold on to that puck. Now they can hit the reset button. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another faceoff here. Richards wins the faceoff in the offensive zone. Good use of the body on the play. Rips it and rips it. How many bodies in the way? Under all sorts of pressure in his own end with the puck. Zone. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Handles the pass. He scores! Off the pipe and pulls you the twine. Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. Love this goal, James. It's effort and skill all wrapped into one. He's stumbling. It almost looks like he's going to fall. But he uses that core athletic ability to hold on, find the puck, and get a shot off. That shot fools the goaltender. He's on the board. Anaheim's got to be feeling confident now, getting that one back, Cheryl. And it puts a lot of pressure on the opponent, James. They've held the lead, and they've given up one. Now they're within one goal, which means it's striking distance in the third period. As a defender, you know when they're coming, and they got to win this faceoff and dictate the pace. Takes a shot. Big time glove save. Richards knows he has a point streak going here, and when the puck's on your stick and you're feeling that confident, you direct everything to the net, and sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes it's just skill. The Ducks win that offensive zone faceoff. And he catches that one with the glove. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Anaheim's trailing by one. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. Now a quick pass to Rust. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Quick feed to Darlene. Pinned up along the boards. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Gets it over to Malkin. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. And that play's broken up. And the puck's kicked free. From the neutral zone now. Intercepted at center by Rust. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Great heads up play by the defender. Sometimes when you're winning, you can get overconfident and try and overhandle the puck, and this is what follows, a turnover. Coach isn't going to be very happy. You've got to game manage, you've got to puck manage, and you've got to make sure you make the correct play. Sometimes simple is better. Slides it across. Made that stop. Rust's moving it ahead. Centering feed, and that's stopped. The Blackhawks are in the on-deck circle on the schedule, and I'll tell you what, it's a big game for both teams coming up, and that'll be a good one. I hope you'll be there. You know we will. Anaheim's won the draw, and it's a quick pass to tip it. Takes off the defender with some nifty moves. Takes a knock, but he's still got the puck. Great pass from off the right side. Into the offensive end now. Passes it over to his teammate. The Penguins get a hold of the puck in their own end. Dumps it in. 
Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Tries to get the puck to tip it. The Ducks looking against the half wall. He says, let's get physical on that play. The Ducks gain possession. Centering key. And he denies that great opportunity there. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Saucer pass across. The Ducks take possession in the defensive end. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Oh, a clutch save! The shot's come from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. And some fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Oh, nice use of the boards with the paint pass. Oh, and a great save by Chari. And he's ridden off the puck. Here's a short pass to Nieto. And a smart heads-up play to put that away by Niskanen. Here they come on the rush. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Dishes it off. Shuts him down. The Penguins have played from the corner. Nice connection on cross-ice pass. finds an opening and you know that he's going to try and take it. This time just gets a little too fancy and loses the puck. Pittsburgh's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Tosses it to Niskanen. Broken up by Latang. Moves the puck. Anaheim's gained possession. Fires it. Easily turned away with the glove. Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. Anaheim's got a great opportunity here on the power play. Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. Puts the puck on net. Oh, that's right off the mask. Well, no smelling salts needed here. He's shaking it off as he takes one in the cage. He made the save, so that's going to make him pretty happy. Rocked him right against the boards. Well, he's up and along the wall, and there is no give, James, and that was just a thunderous hit. Here he comes. In on a breakaway. Not sure what happened there. Well, yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going right, but his inability to convert because he ran out of room. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. Comes up with the stop. Jari's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been one of their best players all night. A reason why they're leading here in the third, James. But it's not just about the save. It's about managing the puck and making the decisions when to hold on. Anaheim's got it in the offensive zone. Shot redirected. And he keeps possession. Knocked away. Knocked him along the wall. When they were in the hole, and look at them now, they're right back in it. The Ducks' last goal, Cheryl. Huge. It is massive, isn't it? And the timing is impeccable. Right at the end of the game, you find a way to get the equalizer. And this really puts the opponent on their heels. It tightens up their stick, so they have to attack and find a way to get to the net. To the front! And that's knocked away by Ellen. Grabs possession of the puck. Back to the point he goes. Oh, denied on the play! Wow! That's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Jari's last save was absolutely 
absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. And there's the buzzer bringing regulation time to an end. Still tied up. We've got overtime in moments. Just an incredible move to get the goaltender to bite in. He doesn't even have to raise this puck, James. He can just slide it right by into the open net.